Hi everyone, uh, this is a video on the Antalya Melavine Musici, which is basically the museum in the old town and you'll see it with the mosque with the three minarets close to it. Um, so as you walk into the old town, uh, you have a lot of stairs that go down. Um, you'll see it on your right side near the Mediterranean Sea. Um, you will see the time in here, so it's basically Monday to Friday. Uh, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, due to COVID reasons, there is a mask policy, so make sure you got your masks with you. Um, before you even come into the museum, if you go to the uh, garden, um, you'll see some historical uh, landmarks here as well. Um, so have a look around. So some amazing history here. So this is the place where some of Rumi's uh, Rahmatullahi's uh, students. Uh, have a place uh, where they practiced uh, zikr as well as studied the deen of Islam. Um, so some historical information here as you can see on the, the entrance um, and you can see our logo on the mask. So as we're going in fully masked, masked up, remember before you walk in there are some signs on there as well, take your shoes off, leave your shoes off outside. As you walk in you see this beautiful old architect uh, building inside the dome inside um, we see a lot of things that are which are f from that time so in terms of the clothing to the instruments used uh, so what you see in the south asian community the duff that's used so you'll see this here um, you'll see the sitting arrangements uh, below so these were used in terms of gatherings, uh, discussions between uh, teachers and the students, so the chefs. Uh, in the South Asian com communities, what they call the Marid and the Maridans. Um, so these guys, they had um, different type of headwear, as you can see. Uh, much uh, like in the Middle East, um, uh, the headwears or differs, depends on which spiritual lineage that you come from or the spiritual tariqa that you come from um, so you see some more more old uh, monuments here um, so then you got the different rooms so we managed to go to some of the rooms as you can see here so this as well as the gap this would have been a meeting room but in here I believe yeah that's the kitchen as it says there so in here they, they would prepare the food for the students and the teachers uh, you can see here it's still kept intact um, amazing when you go in here it's really really good um, definitely have a look around take some pictures um, don't damage anything um, as you walk past um, if you go down this down these stairs that takes you back into the main hallway where the meeting room is so you can imagine them coming out of the kitchen serving people and then you have another room here as well um so i believe yeah so this is the another room of the teachers so i thought i'll get some good views of the the architect at the top you can see some of the videos playing there as, play there as well of the uh, demonstration of the sufi twirling um yeah so we managed to go into the room after the uh, some of the visitors were in there already so you can see some of the uh, sculptures here of the old Molanas. Uh, how they how they would sit and study the Quran and the Hadiths. Uh, really, really good. Uh, a very decent Islamic museum, considering uh, it's in Antalya, uh, holiday resort area. Uh, very, very good. Um, so you go in here. There's some some of the monuments are uh, dedicated to Rumi um the Sufi poet, uh, that who's based in Konya, but. As you see around here, uh, there's a, a map of the different uh, places in Turkey where his uh, schools were set up for, for his students. Um, it's really, really good in terms of how intact a lot of these older items are. Uh, the one thing I missed, but I did come back to it, was the Shifa bowl. Um, and then you got the old Quran there as well. Um, and then as you come back out again, um, you've got other aspects in terms of the videos some of the shows that happen around the 
around the city and some of the different cities, mainly towards the uh, tourism cities that have these uh, going on. So in Turkey, uh, they're known as um, Maulana uh, Rumi, Rahmatullahi. But when you do, when we do another video, you'll see us in Konya, uh, where they're known, known as uh, Hazrat Rumi, uh, usually in, as, uh, in Arabic. So it varies depending on where you are. Here you have the healing ball that I mentioned before. Uh, you see all these bronze balls here, um, collectibles. If you have any, just keep them. Please remember to subscribe, share the video and do like as well. It does help and leave some comments and watch out for some more videos coming out soon, inshallah.